Before starting this tutorial, I just want to remind you guys of something. Recently, I made a video reviewing a PowerPoint add-in called Power User. In that same video, I mentioned that each license is worth $220. And guess what? I was given 50 to give out for free. I will select 10 lucky winners each week for five weeks. So far, 10 people have won the license, which means 40 are left. If you want to win one, all you have to do is sign up to the SlideCal mailing list using the link below. And hey, I'll even throw in this tip of the iceberg slide template for free. If you want to learn more about the Power User add-in, just click on the info button on the top right. Thanks guys. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is YoYo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. In this week's video, we're going to make a stacked pyramid infographic. The point of this slide is to label or stack the main points and then associate the main points with more information over here. And we do that by connecting the main point to the information using colors and icons. You can use this slide for whatever you'd like, but I suggest using it when you have a particular set of bullet points, points with priority, or steps that you want to illustrate. Anyway, this is really easy to make, so let's get right into it. Step one, make the stacked pyramid. All right, so assume that you guys have a blank slide right in front of you. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to insert, you're gonna go to shapes, and then you're gonna click on the isosceles triangle option right here. You're gonna hold shift and blow up this triangle just like that. And then you're gonna reduce the width of this, but not the height, to the left just a bit like this. Now don't worry about positioning and sizing too much, we can always change that later. Just get something that looks like this, I think this looks fine. All right, so then click on the triangle, click on format, and make sure it does not have an outline. What you wanna do now is you want to click on the triangle and you wanna change the color of this triangle into something dark or whatever color you'd want, but I recommend something dark. Why something dark? Because we want to look for something with a strong color contrast as you can see over here. Uh, we're going to try and apply that same effect. So I'm going to change the color of this to a dark navy blue color, something looks like that. And to go for that extra artistic effect, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click on shape fill, gradient, right? And then I'm gonna click over here, which is linear up. Now I know what you're thinking. Where the hell do the colors go? Don't worry. Go to shape fill again, go to gradient, and then click on more gradients, right? Uh, at the bottom over here, I'm just gonna change the color to black, you know, a darkish blackish color, which is over here. I'm gonna delete the middle color, and I'm going to click over here and change this to the dark bluish color that we were talking about before. This one right here. And then just let go. And then that way we have some sort of, you know, a strong pattern, a strong pattern of contrast, you know, it'll really help us set the foundation of our slide and uh, it'll help us get those stacked pyramids going. Okay, so now we are ready for the labels. What we're going to do is we're gonna go to insert, we're gonna go to shapes, and then we're gonna click on this rectangle over here, right? And we're gonna make something fat, something like this. I think that looks fine. I'm gonna drag that downwards. What you wanna pay attention to is the gap between the corner of the rectangle and the start of the triangle, something like this, right? We're looking for this little gap here. You wanna make sure that's not too wide. So over here, that's fine. So um, press on Control, Shift, and make three additional copies going downwards. So one, two, three. Don't worry about positioning for now. Make sure they're aligned in the middle of the triangle. So I'm gonna click on the triangle and I'm gonna to go to home, I'm gonna to go to arrange, align, and then I want to click on align center and just make sure everything's perfectly aligned in the middle. And then I'm just gonna click on each rectangle and highlight them individually by pressing control, going to home, arrange, align, and then distribute vertically, perfect. All right, so now we can play around with the sizing. So click on the second highest rectangle and then press on shift, and then press on the right key like this, right? Until it's increasing in size. What you're trying to look for is you're trying to make sure that all four corners go beyond the side of the triangle, right? That's the most important thing you wanna do. So I'm just gonna do that one more time over here. Yeah, that's fine. And you wanna make sure that each one is longer than the last one. Perfect, okay, that is absolutely perfect. So then what we're going to do is we're going to remove the outline for all four shapes by holding control, three, four, go to format, go to shape outline, 
no outline. Perfect. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add the folding effect that you see over here. And that's actually really, really easy to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to insert shapes and then click on this triangle this time, the right triangle, right? You're going to draw it out like this. Don't worry about the sizing for now. Click on format, click on shape outline, and then click on no outline. And then we're going to change the color and make sure that we can see it easily. So I'm going to change mine to orange just so we can see it easily. We're going to place it just over here. As you can see, I'm going to make it very thin. Bring this to the middle, super thin, something like that. And I'm just going to press on send to back, just like this. Boom. If you see that there's a little bit of a gap, that's fine. Just bring it downwards and then that will fix it. So then we want the same thing over here, right? So what we want to do is we want to press on control and bring that over here. Just drag it out. And this is where it gets fun. Click on home with this triangle selected, uh, arrange, rotate, flip horizontal, and then arrange, rotate, flip vertically. And then you're just gonna bring it over here, just like that. Perfect, okay. Click on send to back now. No, send to back, all right, there we go. Now, a lot of you might not be happy with that little teeny tiny triangle over here representing the folding effect of that. That's fine, just drag it all the way downwards like this until you get something that you're satisfied with. Remember, you're already, it's, you already sent it to back, so it doesn't really matter how you, you want to uh, position it from there, from, from there on. So, um. With that done, we're gonna do the same thing for every single one. So I'm just going to press on control, do that here, and here, and here. Highlight all three, click on, sorry, right click and click on send to back. And then do the same thing for this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Highlight, 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 click on send to back. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey, there's this thing popping out of my triangle and I don't like it. Don't worry, we can fix that right away. So don't even worry about that. What we're going to do is we're gonna to go to um, insert shapes, click on this rectangle over here, highlight it, and then uh, click on the little triangle popping out over there, click on the rectangle, and then um, go to Format, Merge Shapes, Fragment. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna delete all of that over there, and then that's it. There you go, perfect. So now it's time to color. So I'm gonna make my first one a red color, my second one a yellow color, third one a green color, fourth one a pinkish color. And now it's time to color in the folded parts of our shapes. And that's really easy to do. So what you want to do is you want to um, click on both parts for your represented color. So in my case, it's going to be red. I'm clicking on both parts, the bottom part and the top part. I'm going to change it red. Sorry, red. There we go. And then click on shape fill, more fill colors, and just with this black triangle, bring that down to get a darker shade of the color that you already have. So something like this. And then there you go. You can automatically see that there's sort of, sort of illusion being played here. So I'm gonna do the same thing for all of them. So I'm gonna click on this, click on this, change the color to yellow, and then bring that to more fill colors and drag that downwards like this. Not too much. Do the same thing over here. Same thing over here. All right, perfect. Now it's time to add the titles for our diagram over here. So I'm just gonna put title and then I'm gonna change the font to Panton Black Caps. I'm just gonna copy paste that all across. All right. And that is our stack pyramid. Very, very easy to make. And that's already our first step completed. Step two, add the icon placeholders and the text. All right, from here on, it gets really easy. 
go to insert, go to shapes, click on the rectangle right over here. Hold shift and make a big square. Nothing too big, but something big enough. So this is like, I think this is fine. Then what you wanna do is you wanna position it on the right side of the slide. I think over here would be okay. Um, press on control, shift and make three additional copies. Move it downwards. One, two, three. And I think that's perfectly fine. I'm just gonna bring that up a bit. All right, highlight all four boxes. Go to home, go to arrange, go to align and click on distribute vertically. And then we're going to, whoops, we're going to highlight all four boxes again. Go to format, go to shape, outline, weight, and then change that to six points. And then shape fill, no fill. Make sure it doesn't have a fill in the middle. Then what you want to do is you want to correlate the outline to the color of the label. So click on the box, go to format, go to shape, outline, eyedropper, and just change it to whatever color this is. Same thing for everything else. All right, now we're just gonna add our text. So we're gonna go to insert, we're gonna click on the text box, and we're just gonna draw out our text over here. Now remember, this text could be anything you want. It could be a, a point of illustration, could be bullet point, could be a point of priority. Whatever you want it to be is fine. Just make sure that the text correlates to the uh, label. So for example, over here, this text is gonna be specifically for the red point in particular. So for right now, I'm just gonna add some dummy text. So I'm just gonna click on right click and you know, uh, keep text only. I'm gonna change the font size of this to, let's say 13. I'm also going to make it justified and I'm going to make sure that it's in the middle of the square. All right, perfect. I'm gonna make three additional copies for the rest of my icon placeholders by pressing on, by pressing on Control, Shift, and dragging it downwards like this. So that's one, that's two, here, that's three, right here. Two, three, perfect. And that, my friends, is step two completed. Step three, add the icons. All right, so I know that not a lot of you know how to bring icons into your PowerPoint slide that are customizable. I also know not a lot of you have the uh, icons button in your insert tab for uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. Um, don't worry, SlideCow made a video teaching you three awesome techniques on how to bring icons into your PowerPoint slide. Just click on the info button on the top right to watch that video and you'll be well on your way to get that done. So uh, for now, I already have my icons colored and ready to go on the left side here. That's just to save time. Now remember, these icons are supposed to represent your point, right? I just picked my icons at random. Um, so I'm just gonna put mine over here, right in the middle, one over here, one over here, one over here, and one over here. And now it's just a matter of fine tuning. So let's just delete all that. Group this up, move this to the left a bit. I think that looks great. I think that looks absolutely dandy. And we have done it again, guys. We've always done it and we are gonna keep doing it. Please, 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 please go to slidecow.com and sign up to our mailing list. We actually have a blog now and we're gonna actually start creating content only to those people who have subscribed to the Slidecow mailing list. Just keep that in mind. Moving forward, you might be missing out on a lot of different tips and tricks, right? So um, have a great one, guys. Be safe and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.